get your own life together. Get your own living situation together. You're giving us advice in your one bedroom apartment. You know what I mean? Like, get your own sh together. If you were this genius mastermind, like, knows everything, Joel Olstein, freaking Dr. Laura, Dr. Phil, you'd have your shit a lot more together. <gasps> God. Ah. Tristan, call 911. It hurts. It hurts so bad being right. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, I used to primarily focus on mental health but a lot of people came after me so I kind of switched things up and now I just kind of look at the YouTube community and do some commentary and try to analyze it. So if you're into that stuff and if you're into people being right, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. All right, so this video, if it is monetized, we'll be donating 20% to NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness, all right? So yeah, sit back, relax, let me catch you all up to speed with a little bit of a story. So like I said, my channel originally started out as a mental health channel, and yeah, mental health wasn't getting that many views. So I was like, how do I teach people about something they don't necessarily wanna learn about? And every now and then I would intertwine like, you know, YouTuber topics and things like that. And I started getting a lot of requests saying, hey, um, you seem to know a bit about borderline personality disorder. Can you make some videos about Trisha Paytas? And for a long time, I said no, all right? And plus, I wasn't gonna diagnose her. I'm not a licensed therapist or a psychologist. How could I diagnose anybody? But more and more people started sending me clips, old videos, some of them deleted, where she said she had borderline personality disorder. So I'm like, all right. Because I learned a long time ago, one of the best ways to teach people, I know it's the way I learn, is when people can give me an example of something, right? So when I was just a little, little tiny YouTuber, I was like, okay. And what I was trying to do was, you know, show different behaviors that Trisha Paytas had. And I'm like, these, you know, correlate with symptoms of borderline personality disorder. If this is what you have as well, see a therapist. Here are some different exercises and practices that you could do, like dialectical behavioral therapy, if you cannot afford a therapist. And I would recommend books and things like that that teach uh, DBT. Well, during that time too, I said that, uh, her and Jason Nash had a pretty toxic relationship, and that's something that I'm no stranger to. I used to be in a bunch of toxic, verbally, sometimes even physically abusive relationships, and I would point to them and say, yo, if your relationship looks like this, it's a bad idea. And eventually, Trisha Paytas caught wind of my videos, and she made a video really mad at me where she was eating a chicken sandwich in a car, and she said this. We do put our lives out there, but to diagnose someone, he puts in the description, like, Trisha has bi borderline personality disorder. I don't. So this started a narrative that I diagnosed her with borderline personality disorder. But as I said, I'm not a licensed therapist or psychologist, and I don't even know her, so I couldn't diagnose her even if I wanted to. So I pointed to clips like this. Yo, 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 if, if you're in a good mood, you're going to love it. <laughs> Isn't that the fun part though about dating someone with like borderline personality? Like you don't know what mood they're gonna be in. Are they gonna be happy? Are they gonna be mad? You're always in a good mood unless I piss you off. <laughs> <laughs> now, that did not stop a bunch of drama channels and commentary channels from making videos about me claiming that I diagnosed Trisha Paytas with borderline personality disorder. But today, while watching her reaction to the H3 podcast, I realized that she posted this video on World Mental Health Day discussing how she has borderline personality disorder. He puts in the description like Trisha has bi borderline personality disorder, I don't. And oh my God, just like I said, I was merely relaying what she had already said her diagnosis was, all right? But getting back to things that I was right about, We've been really good at like working things out, just like talking about it and like both apologizing when we need to. Um, it's my best relationship and it's my best healthiest relationship. Honestly, I'm not supposed to run YouTube, but fuck off. Like I've never wanted to tell someone to fuck off more. To like say these people shouldn't be together. These people like 
off. Oh my God, it literally, it literally pisses me off and not a lot pisses me off. Just say, when I was talking about that relationship being toxic. He does so many videos about me and Jason and our relationship as if he's a relationship expert. It's like, look where we're at now. Maybe I know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I say that if you guys know me, obviously if you follow me for a while, you know my intentions are never to hurt anyone. They just aren't. And if people are offended, and this is bottom line, and I've, I've thought a lot about this in the past few days especially, if people are offended, that's really not my business. And yes, Trisha, I can relate so much to that. We have our opinions, sometimes they're gonna make people upset, maybe the way that we talk about things. And Trisha Paid has just made a video going off on H3, calling him all sorts of names and going off on him on Twitter. So sometimes we are doing this and it involves other people as well, all right? But much like Trisha Paytas, my intention is never to hurt anybody. My intention is to educate and comment on things that are out there in the public. Now, some of you may have some arguments about this. For example, you say, don't talk about another person's diagnosis, but I would refer you to this. He has mental illness, so he beats women. A lot of people with mental illnesses don't, obviously. Um, but, you know, this guy has, has gone on record, has been diagnosed multiple times with bipolar. Right there, that's Trisha Paytas talking about someone else's bipolar disorder. All right, now, something that she said quite a few times in her video was this. He acts like he's such an expert, and, I, that, and it's honestly dangerous, and it's honestly unhealthy. But is it really dangerous when Trisha Paytas does this? Um, and I actually haven't been on any medications, and I'm not saying that to like brag or anything like that. I'm saying there are other ways of dealing with mental health issues without having to take pills. No, she's just sharing her experience and her opinion, and like I always say, go talk to a therapist, a doctor, psychologist, or a psychiatrist. Don't just take my word for it, or don't just like go and Google things. Now, another argument may be, if you're not a qualified professional, you have no right talking about mental health or mental illness. But this is not something that's uncommon. Look at all of these different news articles that talk about celebrity addiction, talk about celebrity mental illness. All right, this is something that is part of our society, okay? And the goal of my channel used to be to use these things as an example to help you, the viewer. But it started raining down hellfire from these hateful drama channels and commentary channels accusing me of doing something that I never did, all right? So this video is about to switch and take a more positive turn, but I need you to do me a favor. All right, if you could do me a favor and go out to some various hate videos about me from the drama channels or commentary channels and ask them if they feel they owe me an apology for accusing me of diagnosing Trisha Paytas. Now, in all seriousness, I know I'm not, you know, uh, Trisha's, you know, uh, favorite person, but the reality is, is that I have tried to defend Trisha Paytas, all right? As somebody who has worked in the mental health industry, as somebody who has had his own struggles with mental illness, I really want people to understand that it's not just about people being good or bad. It's like when we can discuss the mental illness somebody has, maybe we can explain some of their behaviors. I do not think Trisha Paytas is a bad person. I have worked with thousands of people who have struggled with borderline personality disorder. And I understand that they are dealing with something that's often rooted in trauma. So that's why I wanted to make these videos to explain, hey, all right, Trisha Paytas isn't this evil, awful person. These are just part of the symptoms of something that she's struggling with. But like, check this out. This is the one of the top comments on this video about borderline personality disorder, all right? Saying that she's using her mental illness as an excuse. But no, if you understood borderline personality disorder, you'd understand the various symptoms such as attention seeking, all right? Insane fear of abandonment, the hypersexuality, the substance abuse, and the latching on to different identities, all right? So, Trisha Paytas does talk about, you know, being uh, misdiagnosed as bipolar and everything like that. 
And just from my personal experience, and you could talk to, you know, mental health professionals about this, the DSM, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, it is a framework, right? It gives mental health professionals an idea of what symptoms that you're struggling with to get you the right type of therapy. For example, when it comes to borderline personality disorder, one of the best therapies for it is dialectical behavioral therapy, which Trisha talks about in her video and why her therapist recommended it to her. All right, so again, nothing was ever with ill intention, but I would never talk about someone's mental illness unless they publicly discussed it. And all of you out there, I hope you recognize when you watch the hate videos about me, there are many, many, many people who talk about my drug addiction. But do I get butt hurt about it? No, because I made it public. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell and go leave some comments on the drama and commentary channels making hate videos about me, seeing if they're interested in apologizing to your old buddy, Chris. All right, but before I let you go, I wanna send out a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel in different ways by supporting on Patreon or buying my books or merch and all that kind of good stuff. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.